Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today join me, I'm back at pace, so I'm not out on any adventure today, the weather has actually been quite poor, so I decided what I wanted it to do was to make a video, not a review video, but an overview video of a microphone system that I received very kindly from a company called Lens Go. Now, anybody that would follow my channel for a number of years would know that I've always struggled with audio. Being an outdoor photographer, you are really at the mercy of the conditions and also the ambient sounds that are around you. But moreover, most of the issues that I encountered were from my own incompetence. So I would have used a number of different types of microphones. First and foremost, the built-in microphone in the camera. Now, you know, anybody that's tried to use that, any bit of wind whatsoever, you are going to get wind noise. I've tried some sound mufflers and they do seem to work somehow, but they're not really the greatest as well. So what I did was, uh, for a number of years actually, I used the Zoom H1, and that's a separate recording system that I'd normally keep in my pocket and then connect up a lav mic, which would go on my lapel. And that worked perfectly fine for a number of years. However, because it was an independent recording system, I then had to sync the audio with the video later in post. Not a big deal, one simple step. However, there had been times right where it wouldn't sync for whatever reason, so I ended up then not having the audio. Uh, recorded. Other types of microphones that I've used have been boom mics and they'd sit on top of the camera. Now what I found with those is that you have to be very very close to that and um, if you're either left or right as well the audio quality can actually be diminished and I like to be able to walk around and be to the left of the camera or the right of the camera and to put to have full freedom basically of movement where I want to be able to stand while I'm recording. Around about six months ago, I decided I wanted to change and I bought the Rode Wireless Go. Now, I had a small couple of problems actually with the first batch that I got. I had a lot of static, it was only recording on one audio channel. Thankfully, I was able to bring it back and it was replaced for me. And ever since then, it actually has been working perfectly fine. But when I was reached out by Lens Go to give these microphones a go, of course, I jumped at the chance. And they're a very interesting system. There's a number of features actually that are within that, that are maybe unique to them or not unique to them, but they're unique to me anyway. And I was really interested to see how it would go. So this is the microphone now that I'm recording on. And as you can see, not much difference to kind of form factor. It has your wind muffler on the top of that, which you actually easily detach. And I'll show you that in a moment. But it has a couple of interesting features and that I hadn't seen before. So number one here is you have an, a TF card slot, which is exactly the same actually as a micro SD card. So you can pop an SD card into here and then you can record the audio as a standalone unit. You've got a little button here at the very top, which is a record button. So you press that button here and then what you'll get is a red light that will come on. And now I'm recording the audio as a backup or redundancy directly to this. It's still transmitting to the receiver that I have on the top of the camera, but in case I wanted to go further away or whatever it might be from a transmission range, it's very good as well that it will have that as backup. Then I can just import that and I can sync that like I would have done with my Zoom H1. On the back of the unit here you have your standard clip but the beauty of this is this clip can come off and it's magnetic so it just basically clips back on here so I can leave that clip on my lapel and then I can take this unit off if need be. Hadn't seen that before it's an interesting concept and the unit that's on top of my camera as well is exactly the same so I can leave that in the camera and then just remove the actual receiver from the top of the camera. Um, from an audio quality point of view as well, as you can hear from me here, it is very, very good. I've used it a couple of times already. Like I said, this isn't an overall review of my thoughts, but it's a review, it's a, an overview of the features and the audio has been really, really good in it overall. Now, what I do like about this is I got this, I got the receiver, but it also comes in this very, very interesting little box here. So as you can see here, this is the box from Lens Go. And the beauty of this here is at the side, you have a connector, which is a USB-C. And then when you place this within the actual unit, as you can see, I have a second microphone. So I've got this microphone and this microphone, and there's a position as well for the receiver. You put that in, 
and then you plug it in in one go and the whole lot of them will charge and that's the beauty i think in relation to this system it's not a charging box but it's a actually there's no battery built into that you need to connect it with a usb-c but the beauty here what i find is that i'm no longer now having to charge them all independently and plus when i'm finished i put them all straight back into the um the box itself and then they're all recorded sorry they're all kept in the one area so it's very difficult to be able to lose them so that's one thing i did uh, like in relation to that and obviously the beauty as well now of having this mic and the secondary mic is that i can you know have two people recording at the same time now the other thing as well i'll just place this down here and this is now sitting on my lap and that's recording and i show you the other microphone because here as i said you've got this wind muffler so you can actually quite easily remove the wind muffler off the side and what that now reveals is a slot that you can use for a lav mic as well. So I can use this exactly the same as I would have done with my Zoom H1, which is actually a very, very interesting feature. And it's a good solid clip as well within that, so it's not gonna fall off very easily. And now it is very covered from the audio point of view. This system also has a built-in algorithm for noise reduction. I believe it is a seven sequence. So it will actually do a very good job of removing ambient noise as well, built in with the technology that's within there. And for me, with audio, you have to have clean audio. And so far with this, I've had very clean audio overall. On the receiver as well, you have an small LCD screen, which will actually give you some information in regards to the connectivity of each of the microphones and also the audio levels too. So you can see if your audio is peaking and such like that. Very good to be able to have it, much easier as well for me to be able to read it than what I've seen on the Rode uh, Wireless Go 2. So for me, that's a, a good feature and a very good point also. It uses a 2.4 gigahertz frequency, so you know it's a very good wide band that's being used. And for me as well, like you know, the, the range that you can get from this, I haven't tested it overly. I'll test it when I do my overall review. But for me, I haven't had any uh, connectivity losses or anything like that. I've been able to move far enough away from the camera as well, also, and without any loss or integrity loss in the audio itself. Recording on this as well, it supports stereo and mono, and it has a built-in omnidirectional as well microphone, so you know you're not going to be able to get a lot of ambient noise that's out there, and can combine that with the seven, se seven sequences of noise reduction, I think it actually it can be very, very good. In fact, it's not that I think, I know it has been very good because I've been in noisy areas, and it actually has been good so far. Battery life as well on this is 7.7 .7 hours of standby and three and a half hours as well of recording time. So that's going to be more than enough. But like I said, I bring that box with me. I can plug that into a USB-C charger in the car if I'm moving from location to location and a quick charge I know will get me through the next shoot as well also. So I have no fear of running out of power in relation to this. And I think because of that box as well, it actually will be a very good feature for me anyway, because if I want to go away, for a couple of days or whatever it might be. I'm not having to independently charge everything, place it into the one box and everything is charged at one go. And the final feature that I see in relation to this as well is that it can be connected into a camera, but it can also be connected into a mobile phone. So those people that use mobile phones for vlogging, this microphone as well will be a perfect box ticker. Price-wise, I'm not quite sure actually what the price of it is. I've seen that it's 145 pounds, so probably just under 200 euro. Um, but you know, that's going to be cheaper than the Rode Wireless Go. And for me anyway, looking at the features, it ticks the similar boxes. It hasn't got the complexity. Now I know Rode have fixed that recently with the removal of the individual audio channels. You can now do them in a batch, but with an SD card as well, you know, I've got backup in relation to that. And it's not stuck on a built-in flash memory within the microphone. So look, there are the features that I would in this i think it's quite an interesting microphone system i've used it a couple of times like i said i haven't had an issue i'm recording on it right now i don't think i've got an issue but i'm looking forward now to using this more and then i'll give you a full in-depth review of my thoughts in relation to it at that time so yeah quick episode for me today thank you very very much for joining i hope you've enjoyed actually a slightly different episode to normal and um, yeah if you have any questions or anything like that please let them in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them and if i don't then i'll reach out to the guys in lens go and i'm sure they'll be able to answer the questions for you so if it's your first time on my channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time slonga fall